afternoon. It's good to welcome you back on another edition of the program, The Buzz, on Galaxy Television. And of course, you know, right here on the show, we discuss issues uh, that people find interesting on social media. But today being Thursday, as with other Thursdays on the show, we try to treat topics that are not... Uh, uh, politics, uh, you know, related. We look at other issues that people are interested in, lifestyle topics, and that's what we'll basically be doing on the program today as well. My name is Patience Belo Okafor. It's really, really a pleasure to welcome you on this lovely Thursday afternoon, the 2nd of August, 2018. All right, I have two of my guests here for now. We hope the third guest will join us in the course of the show, and I'm excited already. <laughs> we have a first timer on on the program. I think there should be drum Woo! rolls or bells <laughs> ringing at this point. Anyway, she was supposed to be here before, but she couldn't make the show. She had another um, engagement, but today we're happy to have her join us. Uh, she's the executive director of Kayode Ibigbami Foundation, and they basically cater for widows and orphans. Uh, she's also an associate pastor in her church, and uh, she's an author and a retired lecturer. It's a pleasure to have Pastor Mrs. Funke Ibigbami here with us. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us on the Thank show. You. Also, we have one of our regulars, even though he, he went on AWOL for a while, <laughs> <laughs> but he's back. <laughs> very cheerful, very lovable, and very articulate as well. He's a child psychologist, a counselor, and he's just a happy person. Aww. It's a pleasure to have my friend, Charles Onyecha. You're going to pay me. Oh, yeah, no, that day. Day. <laughs> How are you, Thank Charles? you, Andre. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on the show today. <laughs> All right. All right we're expecting Temi Tokwa Lanria Lade. I hope she gets here in time for the show, but we have to go on. Okay. So, lifestyle, people. <laughs> Interesting topics we have on our lineup today. Remember, you can be a part of the show. You can interact with us via SMS by using the number 0802-836-8971 or you can go on social media, Facebook for www.facebook.com for slash Galaxy TV Nigeria and you can also join us on Twitter or Instagram. Okay, our first topic. What are the qualities of a husband material? You know, everyone keeps talking about wife material, you know, how a woman is expected to be a cook, to be a dry cleaner, to be a, uh, a baby factory, oh you know. To... <laughs> <laughs> the list is endless. But then, do people even know that women also look out for, you know, qualities mm. of a good husband, you know, mm. in a man, you know. Uh, like... Uh, a footage I, I watched uh, this morning that we're about to watch together, you know, it's not just enough anymore for a man to just go down on one knee and put a ring on your finger. I mm. mean, there is much, much more mm. about being a husband. And that's basically what we'll be starting the show with today. But this is a video we saw on YouTube talking about the same thing. Let's check it out and then we'll come back and talk. Team Jackson, what's happening? You know, I was thinking, we've been talking a lot about marriage and proposals and stuff, but it seems like, you know, simply by a guy wanting to commit or being willing to get on one knee and propose, like he's automatically qualified to be a husband. Meanwhile, women have to jump through all these hoops, meet all these standards, be a porn star, Betty Crocker, Mr. Clean, a mechanic and everything else all in one in order to be wifey material. I think it's time that we have a conversation about what makes a man husband material. Since again, he's not qualified simply by getting on one knee. These are the five things I think that you should look for if you're looking for a man to be husband material. Number one, he needs to have a strong spiritual foundation. And I don't care what religion he believes in or whatever. He needs to understand that he's not always in control and defer to somebody or something or some higher power that is. Because in the course of y'all relationship, life is going to teach him that he's not always in control. And if he doesn't have a strong spiritual foundation, he's going to do one of two things. He's either one, going to lose his mind and or two, blame everybody else, including you for the situation at hand. But a dude who's husband material, when times get rough, that's whenever his faith is going to get activated in that higher power, and he's still going to be able to hold things down. He's still not going to be a liability to the situation, somebody that you can't lean on. Number two, 
I would say a dude that's husband material is a guy that in that space before you even got monogamous with him, before there was even a title, he already had a certain respect for you and a certain respect for what you guys were building and heading towards. I would say number three is a guy that allows you to be yourself. That, that, that's husband material. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you should be allowed to be yourself. Because if you try to suppress yourself, even if you do it temporarily, at some point, the real you is going to come out. Number four, I was saying some of y'all gonna have a problem with this, but the sex gotta be good. And not just good, but improving over time due to his effort to try and please you more and more. The last thing I would say that makes a man husband material is if he shows you his appreciation. That's a big difference from just being appreciative after the fact, after you check him for not telling you thank you or after you check him, you know, for making you feel like he's taking you for granted. So those are my five things, man. You know, it's just like, it's no longer good enough to just get on one knee. You know, that's good and all that other good stuff. But I think more importantly, we need men to be assessed and evaluated by what they stand for on a day to day. video you know just makes my day you know like for a man to talk like that oh, yeah. 0802 remember that's the number to use sms only all right uh let's start with you mom uh, we know that the society let's stay within the nigerian society you know puts so much pressure on a, a woman even from right from when you're like a girl you know they start grooming you to be a wife to be you know you have to be good uh and it goes as far as whether or not your marriage works the blame or the praise you know falls back on the woman mm -hmm. forgetting that men also have like a fundamental role to play in how a marriage turns out so let's talk about these qualities, you know, that men, Nigerian men, should possess, you know, uh, for us to actually regard them as good husband material. Yeah, uh, for a man to be considered as a good uh, married material, he must uh, have uh, expectations. Expectations. He must have a vision. Why are you going into the marriage? Mm -hmm. So he must have expectations. What type of marriage does he want, and how will he make it? work mm -hmm. and so you must set goals for the marriage you must set think of the marriage me meeting physical needs emotional needs intellectual needs you know uh, the bible tells us that it is not good for a man to be alone mm. and uh, that is why he must have a help meet and adam and Eve, Ad adam was created and eve was uh, created to Made that much. So it was not good for Adam to be alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us, we must, I mean, for a man, he must have expectations. I, I mustn't be alone. The woman that is coming into the home, what mm -hmm. am I bringing in her for? What am is I preparing? Just, am I you know, just to come and cook? Exactly. And just bear my children or bear my name? Mm -hmm. No. You must think of how to build her up and make her. You know, uh, I think Charles and Miles uh, Moreau <laughs> okay. says, Miles uh, Monroe. you know, mm -hmm. when you are marrying a woman, you must cultivate her. See her as a virgin land. Hmm. Now, what are you going to plant on a virgin land? Hmm. If you plant put, uh, tomatoes, you cannot harvest yam. So you must have expectation. Hmm. When marrying a lady, I like the illustration. Just for the, Mm. Uh, uh, perfect lady, but, but be ready to you. groom her, mm. you know, mm. cultivate her, mm. improve her mm -hmm. intellectually, mm. improve her physically, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, emotionally. Okay, mm. Charles. Yeah, that's really interesting and, you know, everything that um, the pastor has said. Mm. Um, I'd, I'd like to start from saying that every man, like she said, should have a vision for himself first. Because mm. if you don't have a vision for your life, and you want to lead, you know, an institution as complex mm -hmm. and challenging as marriage, marriage yeah. you're going nowhere to happen. Mm. So essentially, you know, all what the guy mentioned, they are real life, you know, and um, very practical issues mm. that one has to 
have in order to be like a husband material or whatever mm -hmm. you know the terminology is you mm -hmm. have to be a person of faith you have to be able to allow your wife freedom of expression you have to be good in the sack <laughs> okay, okay. You, you know and every other thing he mentioned mm. but i'll just like to say something you know there's something that there's, there's a time i read you know the bible mm. and something struck me now um jesus some people came to jesus and called him a good person and and he said i'm not good and no one is good oh, except the father mm. but i read through the bible and the story of joseph and mary mm. the bible described joseph as a good man and i was i wondered like what exactly, exactly. made the bible describe joseph as, as a, a good, good man? man and at my immediate elder brother's wedding i told him this uh -huh. and I, I spoke to every married man the only reason why Joseph was described as a good man was because when he found out that Mary was pregnant, Regardless. he wanted to put her away quietly. Hmm. That was really hmm. deep. Because the law at the point, hmm. if a lady got pregnant out of marriage and she was to be married to someone, hmm. that someone should bring her before the people and she'll be stoned to death hmm. for fornication. But he didn't but do that. Joseph he... decided, you know, it was really clear. Preach, so for brother, me, preach. A man who has to yeah. be a husband must be, be prepared, prepared, not just to celebrate the achievements and successes of his wife, but to cover her weakness. Her weakness. That for me is just the, the basic. Thank you for line. saying that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, but uh, let's come down to the nitty gritty of it. Mm. You know, before uh, our men take a wife, you know, um, there's some sort of tests they put you through, you, you know, directly or indirectly. Oh, really? They do, yes. Yeah, I'm not aware. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> some men will go as far as, you know, like inviting you over, okay. you know, you know, so they know if you can cook or not, because yeah. those are like things they look out for. Are there tangible, um, Oh, what's that word? Like physical things, you know, mm. like that. We can actually like test a man uh, with to know uh, if this one will be good or not. You, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Aside the whole spiritual and, and all, what are the other physical things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think uh, for you to, you, a way of testing the man is you want to know if he's trustworthy. Mm. Uh -huh. You ask him certain questions. You want to know about his past mm. and if he's able to tell you the truth, mm. uh, you know, some facts about his past, then you will know that this person is uh, trustworthy. Mm. And then you look at his temperament. Anyway, if you, you know, if it's somebody who's rash, mm. like somebody who shouts at you, Quick to maybe on a date, then you have to watch it. Mm. If he shouts at you before he, he, he marries you, then you know he may be <laughs> a beast <laughs> by the time you are in the marriage. Mm. So there are certain things like that that you need to watch out for. Mm -hmm trustworthiness, uh, being gentle, being compassionate, mm -hmm. you know, being, you know, and caring. Mm -hmm. It must be somebody who cares, you know. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Right. So, you know, I'd like to just say these issues, I remember we talked about, you know, like a, a wife material sometime yeah, ago. On the show. And at the end of the day, we came to a conclusion that, and you said, whatever rocks your boat, yeah. whatever floats your boat. So to a large extent, there's really no cut and dry. Mm. Okay, mm. everyone, you know what you want. You know the kinds of things that appeal to you. Now, for me, all my life, even as a young boy, I never considered cooking skills as, as one, one of makes, the things okay. that I will look out for in a, in a woman okay. or in a wife. Okay. That just made no sense. And um, recently there have been some, you know, adverts <laughs> on the internet and I have always commented <laughs> really harshly mm -hmm. where it's just, it, it boils <clears throat> down to the cooking skills. There's this recent one about the um, mother-in-law that was coming mm. and the wife went into a frenzy mm. and all whatnot. And There's the actually a came... commercial on air about that. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. And I, I'm like, so this, this, is just, this just takes us back like a million years, you know, back into the Stone Age. There's a lot more <coughs> than just being Excuse able me. to cook. Now, like she mentioned, for a man, it's really crucial that you can provide. Hmm. the essential needs of a family oh, oh. and now oh, that's yes, that doesn't just have to do with you know having billions or mm. millions in your account there is the emotional part of you know provision 
there is the mental aspect of provision. Yeah. And of course, we have the physical aspect, mm. okay? Because you're going to have children, you have rent to pay, you have to feed your wife mm. and your children, the mm. children have to go to school. Mm. So you necessarily don't need to be a billionaire, mm -hmm. but you have to have something, some something. form of productive mm. you know, enterprise. Okay. Yes, do it. Either as a job or mm. business. Yeah. Yeah. That for me yeah. is key. Mm. You, like you know, sorry to interject here, mm. Charles. You know, um, actually at the RCCG, you know, this was like a major controversy on social media some, some time back where the overseer of that church actually like uh, came out to say if you don't have a job, job. as a man mm. you know don't even think about that's having a wife large. and people went in on him like you know <laughs> a job that defines a man but people forget that even Adam had a job yeah. before yeah. Eve he was to tend to the garden that's of true. Eden so as a man you don't have something doing you have no You're business, not ready for marriage. You know, you know having a woman. That's my, my take. Yes. I that's, think where, that's what where I where we miss the line is this, you know. Lots of people have um, on unreal expectation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now at the end of the day, I agree if you really don't have a job and it's a it's a different thing, okay? But I can tell you stories. I have someone who's really close to me mm -hmm. who had no job, who had no business, but he got married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lady loved yeah, him and they just got if married it, if, if it has and a they built together. Mm. Now, this is the key. The lady probably saw potential in the man. Not a and lazy man. Exactly. Yeah. Not lazy. Like he needed a, a couple a, a push. of years. Mm. Okay. It was the bride's mother mm. that sustained the family. Mm. Wow. And today, the guy is so big. Okay, in terms of you know physical, physical yeah. acquisition, yeah. Mm. that you would never know if I was I was like physically I knew this family. Mm. Okay, mm. so sometimes some blanket statements mm -hmm. like if you don't have a job, yep. don't marry. The pastor knows where he's coming from because of course they have to deal with so many marital mm. issues, issues yeah. around finance. Mm. But okay. sometimes there mm. are exceptions to the yeah, rule. there are exceptions. That's just yeah. my opinion. If you don't have a job, but you you are focused okay. and uh, you have the potential. You are not lazy, not just uh, wake, I mean, sleeping okay. every day, but you're ready to th you think positively. What can I do? Mm. What can I do to improve on myself? Maybe mm -hmm. you need to work on yourself to be better. Mm -hmm. you know, and eventually, when job uh, comes, then you pick it up. But not that the man is lazy, not ready to work at all, not yeah. ready to do anything, mm -hmm. and he says, I want to get married. Mm -hmm. so, so joblessness does, uh, should not stop a man from getting Get married, married. Mm. If, he's a, if he's a man, not a boy. Exactly. There must be great maturity. A lady must be mature. that sees the potential and is ready to you mm. know, build with him. So yes. Far. Okay. Yes. You well, know, I, I like well, everything uh, both of you have said so far. I think what we're trying to let people know is, especially the men, yeah. uh, just being a man and having a third leg isn't a qualification. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> be a husband. That's what we're trying well, that's to. The truth. I'm not yeah. trying to be funny. I'm just being serious because people just think because I, i'm a man now you know yeah. like you know yeah. uh, it's not enough there must be something more mm. about you yeah. you know that makes you fit in that category yeah. okay let's look at how our, our viewers are reacting um this one says i would say the quality of a husband material is that the guy should have a better understanding should be able to cheer you up when you are down or sad and mostly should be caring. Uh, this other one says, a husband material is a man who can appreciate the little efforts of a woman. John Paul from Abuja uh, sent that one in. Uh, this one from Mrs. Sarah from Kaduna. The best quality of a good husband material is all about understanding, love, caring, uh, and it shouldn't be biased. God-fearing man. And lastly, being educated too. Mm. Uh, this one is asking, why do we teach our girls to aspire to be wives, but we don't teach our boys mm. the same? Mm. Yeah, really a good question. Uh, a good yeah, question. yeah, good question. We it's have to a train real our cultural bias. Yeah, that's rooted in yeah. sexism. Mm. There's an assumption when it comes that's to it. male children that yeah. you know it's they're okay. good. Yeah, Whatever, it's, okay. it's gonna yeah. turn out right. All right, Chineju Okoye from Anambra. Uh, husband has to do every responsibility, such as loving his wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself uh, to it. That means you should be ready to die for your wife. 
If I'm correct, yeah. <laughs> Christ died for the church. So. <laughs> Dr. Femi says, I love the video clip. Superb. This marriage counselor, <laughs> Mr. Charles, is sound in the scriptures. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mommy there, too. Fantastic on this discussion. Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Femi, for sending that one is in. Um, NC says, Oh wow, this one is actually asking a question that is not so connected to what we're discussing. It says, How can a man live with a nagging woman? Wow. What makes what's issue. making the woman mm -hmm. nag in the first place? <laughs> you know, the thing about nagging, I always say, maybe because I'm biased because I'm a woman, I don't like it when you say a woman nags. You know, I feel men hear the noise. They don't listen yeah. to what she is saying. Mm -hmm. What is she nagging about? Wow. You know, let's start from there. Yeah. I think you need to man, listen. A man should be a listener. Listen. There must be good communication. Mm -hmm. You know, communication is, you know, you are sending a message, I'm receiving it, and I'm giving you feedback. A number of ones based, where you sorry, complain about... Based on your intention mm -hmm. for sending that message. Mm -hmm. Based on the intention, mm -hmm. anyway. And, uh, you know, where communication is poor, you know, is then that you, you see the issue of nagging yeah. being a problem. Yeah. If, for instance, a, a man, okay, like uh, an example was given recently at a marriage uh, 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 ceremony, yeah. that, you know, a man loves <laughs> the light on yeah. and he wants to sleep. Oh. And the wife loves uh, switching off. off. So, <laughs> yes. so the first night, what will be the situation? Uh -huh. chaos. Chaos. That chaos. I actually have a couple friends <laughs> that have that issue. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so if there was, no, if there was yeah. no communication, effective communication yeah. before the marriage, mm. say, I love the lights on when I, sleep. I want to switch off. So uh -huh. how do we reach a compromise? Yeah. Okay, let's just dim it. So, you know, it's not totally <laughs> off, it's not totally <laughs> on. <laughs> All right. So, so if you don't, uh, you know, agree mm. on what to do, mm. then the woman will nag. Mm. Of course. Yeah. She'll be complaining, no, I don't want the lights on. Yeah. Then the man will say, no, I want the lights on. But you know what? Let's yeah. not just give a, let's not, do, let's, let's try and understand okay. and compromise. Okay. okay. Sometimes, you know, women are more expressive, you know, verbally they talk, you know, more mm -hmm. than men. And a lot of times, like I told my, one of my, my, my friends, mm -hmm. a lady, I told her, look, if you want your husband to do what you want, mm -hmm. Don't keep mentioning that thing. Mm. Just bring up the idea. You know, there's something about men, and I told my younger sister as well. Mm. If you can make a man do what you want him to do mm -hmm. and create an environment that makes it look like that was his decision. His idea mm. in the first place. That's yeah. the best way to go. Mm. If you want a man to not go this way, mm. The sure way to get him to not go no, this way is keep, keep trying on. to push him back. Tell him to go. Keep okay, on then. <laughs> okay. All keep right. on repeating. So our ladies need to learn this. How to handle your man. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I don't nag, but I'm a bee. I buzz in your ear. Oh, oh my you days. Me. You know, I can you tell. <laughs> <laughs> All that, right. All right. So uh, more feedbacks yeah. are coming in, but we need to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll be discussing why do bad girls end up with the good guys is a valid question if you ask me we'll take a commercial break we'll be back this is where you'll be in a few days pitching that breakthrough idea of yours but before any of that there's stuff to get done starting now first you'll have to clear out your schedule sorry guys you fellows too y you'll make it up to her you better now let's get to work keep at it Looking good. Love it. Oh, not good enough. Well, let's start over again. And again, and again, pressure will get to you. Ah! But you will rise up and power through it all no matter what. Then step onto that stage and hit them with that idea. Bam! See, they all love it. Even this guy. You are on top of your world. You, my friend, are unstoppable. Power Horse. Unstoppable you. Welcome back to the show. 
And just when we took that break, our third guest walked into the studio. It's a pleasure to have her join us. Um, she is a woman in a million, if you know what I mean by that. You know, she's a big time businesswoman, a fashion entrepreneur. <clears throat> uh, it's a pleasure to have Mrs. Temi Tokbo Lanri Alade of Ibile Vogue join us on the show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. All right. All right. Before you go here, we were looking at qualities of a husband material, and viewers are still uh, going in Buzzing. on this. <laughs> <laughs> Oloweko from Ikorodu. My own contribution towards the qualities of a husband material is love for me i would test the man that that if somebody raped me or i have an incurable or you have an incurable <laughs> disease can he stand with me if the man can stand for this uh it shows that is a good good husband material mm -mm. I don't i'm not so, so sure i mean there are things you don't Joke with exactly. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. Quick one. Can I tell you a quick one? Quickly. A lady tested her fiance mm. with her best friend. Oh no! And today, the He's best married friend. To the best friend. Uh, there you go. So some things That's are a, just no, not no, worth no. it. If I'm the it guy, to no I'll sense. marry the best friend. <laughs> yeah. You don't do you that. Know, she don't set do them that. up and that. you know just sent them off on a fairy tale. That's not a way to you know? test. It's not no, a way no, to no, test no, a man. No, yes. No. No okay, we have to move on because our time is fast running. Uh, second topic: Why do bad girls end up with the good guys? Uh, have you ever wondered why bad girls get good guys? Uh, you know, uh, to the society, bad girls are those girls that are excessively social. You know, uh, they are brave, they are outspoken, outgoing, they are daring. They enjoy life to the fullest. They are the ones you will find in the clubs. They are the ones you will... But at the end of the day, you know, um, like years down the line, um, you ask about them and you find that they are settled. <laughs> in marriage, you know, loving man. with a loving man, a good man, oh and gosh. a fantastic family, kids <laughs> everywhere, and <laughs> you know what I mean. Cow. And on the other side, you have this girl that's been like a church girl from the beginning, respectful, obedient, nice, calm, and years down the line, you find her, she's still single and searching. How does that happen? Let's start with you, Ibile. <laughs> Well, I think from a man's point of view, from what I've heard guys say, the men generally like women who are pretending or acting to be so pious. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things we don't express, a part, a lot of part, a part of us that we don't express in the public, and uh, which matters a lot, especially to men. Mm -hmm. The kind of like women who are, that, and that's why in marriage, you see marriage that lasts for long, are those that involve two people who are friends, who can talk about anything, anything. who can behave anyhow in the house, mm. who can actually fight and laugh at one another, mm. not that, oh, I can't sleep in the same bed with him because he's farting at night and mm. it smells. Mm. People who can like, ah, ah, did you chop gutter? <laughs> Last night was terrible. <laughs> so men prefer <laughs> ladies who are, and it's those, those kind of ladies that are usually like that. You can, instead of um, acting piles, there are some places in life you just have to be yourself. Be yourself. So um, I think that's why they get the good guys. It okay. fascinates guys when it, sometimes those naughty things are even the things, tell me, those naughty things that you and your husband do together are the things that you remember most, mm. the things you miss most. Mm. So if you don't have any of such in you, mm. you miss. Something he misses something, about you. Yeah. Yes, so there was just oh. that thing about you. And that's why when a guy, sees a girl who is just like that, is like, wow. And you are wondering, what does he like in this girl? Mm. And it is that thing that you think is wrong that, that actually um, excites him. <laughs> I, I, hope we, I hope we don't pass across the wrong message. And I also we don't tell the good girls to turn bad. That's no, not no, that's it, not the essence. It doesn't okay. mean that being yourself doesn't make you bad. Mm. That's what I always say. Okay. Doesn't make because I have seen a lot of Christians that they're having issues in their marriage because the lady is probably too stiff, too rigid, too rigid, and not so creative. She's too. She's. She, she was brought up to be. I don't want to use mm. the, church, the word churchy because mm -hmm. that is not the right word to use. Mm. So, like so, she's set in her ways, yes. principled. Th thank you. More like so, okay. All right, Charles. How do you react? You know what? <clears throat> if I have to give my two cents on this issue, we're mm -hmm. going to turn this whole thing on its head. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, the definition. Bad, bad girl, girl. I have a problem with that. That's okay. where I, that's that just 
that just lost me. You okay. lost me there. <laughs> now, secondly, like the comparison. Okay. What actually is there evidence? Is there data to back up these issues um, that bad girls maybe in not fee in figures, not, but go, life experiences. Okay. okay. Yeah, People we have them. known and met in the yes. course of life. You know Let what me I mean? Just say yeah. something. Mm. The truth is, people end up, guys end up with a girl, all things being equal, guys end up with a kind of girl that excites them. Okay. Now, for some men, you know, they prefer, you know, lively, talky, outgoing, you know, Chatty. crazy, mm. in quote, kind of girls who are really creative, like she said, that, you know, innovative Crazily about creative. life. Yeah. <laughs> now, for some men, the reverse is the case. Yeah. So I really, I really don't know where to draw the line and say bad girls end up with good guys. But let's bring it back to a law of nature. Opposites mm. attract. Yes. Okay? And I remember I watched a movie once. The young guy had a sexual relationship with an elderly woman. Mm. And his mother found out. So while the mother was suing for war, okay, wanted to sue the lady for statutory rape. Yeah. But the, guy, the boy's father was really nice to the lady. <laughs> Now, the lady asked him, said, I can understand why your wife hates me, mm. but I don't understand why you're why so you nice to me. me. <laughs> and then the guy said, you know, looking at his life, when he grew up, he did everything right. He never broke any rule. He never went the wrong way. Yes. And till now, now, he's in his middle ages, he wonders... Wow. what it would have been like if he had, if he had exactly. taken a so detour now seeing yeah. his son doing the things that he couldn't do mm -hmm. that he's living by he's living his life yeah through the boy. So <laughs> it's just a confused so, so issue so it's so a confusing it. situation yes, yes. 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 yeah all right uh, uh, what i want to say when we talk of uh Good guys. You are mm. talking of uh, maybe a church boy, obedient <laughs> or a boy, boy. <laughs> obedient boy mm -hmm. or man, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, spiritual and all that. Upright, uh, yes. Upright, honest, mm. diligent. But at the end of the day, he ends up with uh, maybe a wayward girl. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that kind of situation, uh, the man must have uh, been impatient. If you are impatient, you want to get married, as soon as possible, you may not wait to observe or watch out mm. to really know uh, much about that girl. And if, if it's not sensitive, if, if for instance, is a, is a Christian, he must have the Holy Spirit to guide him. Mm. He must have his spiritual parents, his, uh, father and the Lord, mm. to say, Daddy, I want to marry, and mm. then they will cancel. So no, ma'am, sorry to but, cut in. Mm. What we're saying is, this bad girls, you know, mm. nothing really lasts forever. Yeah. You know, after you've been there you've done that yeah. and all that you know and there's nothing now, more to do yeah. you come back, back home and then they actually turn around and become good you yeah. know at the end of the day but the thing is it's they've like already lived so the life, life. But you know what no, it's like getting, getting away something. with all the oh, badness no, me, you know please yeah. let me just what, say what, something yeah. something say. really crucial <laughs> now at, at, at every at a point in every human being's life mm. we all saw our royal oaths that's what it's called mm. it comes with the youth it comes with immaturity. Now, the point is for some people, the extent to, to which, which they, they do that oh. varies. And mm. I think that's where we have this issue of, oh, that's a bad girl. Yeah, and, and this is a, a good, good boy. girl. Now, even the most calm, quiet, collected human being that you feel, oh, this is a good girl. She has a way that she's sowing her own royal oats. It's just a part of growing up. So I really don't see that as... Um, I would like to use myself as an example. Please do. I grew up as a, the kind of girl you would call a church girl. Would go to church 5 a.m. every day hmm. before we, we, in our school uniforms. Okay. So um, my mom was an evangelist and CAC. And uh, I would say that that background helped me in a way when I was in the university. I would say that I, I was also a fellowship girl, but I wouldn't say that I was... 100% only. Mm. I did some things that I know that, okay, they, I was told was wrong mm. in church. Mm -hmm. But there were things that I couldn't venture into. I didn't have the... I didn't the guts. Have the guts, because I just feel that, ah, going to a party overnight, ah, no, that's too much. Mm. I can't do that. Mm. You understand? I dated, you understand? But at the end of the day, one of the things that guided me, because I personally would say that I wasn't so holy 
but there was something that actually guided me mm -hmm. in choosing my man and it was like I prayed but at the same time I was just looking for a friend mm -hmm. who I could tell the naughty silly little things I I had done in the past and wouldn't mind wouldn't judge you and I think that could be applicable to the so-called good and bad okay but you now, wouldn't go to society says it is bad it is because the society has seen you know there's a norm mm -hmm. there's yeah a exactly so when you said you didn't understand the meaning the, the classification mm -hmm. there is what we call bad you mm -hmm. can't tell me stealing is good mm -hmm. no this, that's, that's i don't think that's the extent society, that what our society calls bad mm -hmm. so now in terms when, of behavior yes, yes. behavior yes. so i think most of the time why they end up with a good guy is Sometimes, although sometimes we have cases of those who would block out their past and the guy would never know. But there are some that would actually open Tell up. you what they've done, yeah. And the man mm. would still accept them and adore them like mm. he married them as a virgin. Mm. There's, there's something she said that so I, I just want to bring back. So life just happens. And mm. sometimes what I want to, the factor I want to bring in is maybe from the religious angle, but I would say what, what we call grace exists. Mm. Mm. Well, okay. Grace. Grace. Can I just grace point out exists. something quickly? Okay, yeah. quickly. Okay. Uh, grace uh, exists, as we have said, you know, and uh, I believe uh, you made a very important point: the fact that um, a man is looking for a friend. So maybe she's been a bad girl and uh, she's now friendly, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, she's an anxiety team. So just trying to wrap friendship, my brain the friendship will now graduate yes, to marriage. Yes, something and, else. Yeah. And you wouldn't even mind but whatever anybody says about, about her. her. About yeah. He's still yeah. crazy yeah. in love with Can her. Can I just say something Charles. really quick? Yeah. Remember, I, I, I mentioned it's all about perception. Mm -hmm. Now, from her own background, you would never, like to you, going to a party was. Of Way off from, mm. from I would from go to, but you would go to I'll go a to party. Your party if Fine. You're having it in your room. Good. But now Perfect. going to an hotel. No, that's that's overnight. that's okay. Was a now, no I want to point out something. Now, for people that came from your background. Going to a party in someone's room, even if it's by 12 yes. midday, it was, was still was wrong. Yes, that's that's, that's the point. It wasn't a perfect girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's all about perception, <laughs> and it's really hard to hold on to this issue and say this is the reason yeah. for this. But, but yeah. then I wouldn't will, will judge those who do. Oh, sure. It certainly. was just what affected that's my your own background. My you okay, know? all right. <laughs> Our viewers, too, they are, you know, on in fire. their parliament. I mean, <laughs> all right, so, uh, um, uh, Tony Egu from Ogba say it is destined at times for bad girls end up with a good guy <laughs> and most of them become royal after <laughs> oh my lord they become royal oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay Adeze from Okota um, <clears throat> sorry to say there is no bad or good girl because everyone has his or a choice there you go. to make a life <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right this one actually went the way of physics you know says it is negative and positive that, that makes right? light oh my god wow. <laughs> i remember i learned that in physics okay all right john paul from abuja says because the good girls pretend a lot and many end up marrying without issues the devil you know is better yeah. than the angel you, you don't, don't know, know. Yeah. all right paul from ghana says uh, there are no bad girls or bad men mm -hmm. you make how your partner should be god created us all to be good girls and good guys uh this other one uh yeah says bad girls offer us what we want oh my god <laughs> like other girls I'm that claim innocent i'm just <laughs> blushing oh, i have never fine. blushed this much on the show before. this one says because most church girls are pretenders but the club girls most times are real, oh you know. Hmm. Interesting. That's what floats ah, his boat. So. Laura from Ekpoma says bad girls end up with good guys because they have a better opportunity to mingle. Hmm. Hmm. So the selection process is, yeah. you know, it's done in the club. That's another thing. Who <laughs> That's is another a good thing. boy? Like, oh my God, I don't know. Like, I was going to ask the who good is boy, a good guy. The good boy will not be in the club. I was going to ask you that. You said <laughs> bad <laughs> girls end up with a good guy. The good guy. Now, who told you that guy is good? Hmm. I'm sure you have That's a, a whole other ball game. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, this other one, Dr. Femi from Ipaja, says bad girls end up with the good guys because their experiences with them help them know how to pick out good guys from the supposed rotten ones mm. among among yeah, the men. Okay. okay, because they have experience. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, they can tell. Yeah, Unlike course. that very timid, you know, introverted mm. church girl who has no experience about men, she can get swayed by sweet words. You know what I mean? Mm. I know what uh -huh. I mean. Uh-huh. So, I, mean. I, I think that's what he's trying to say. Mm. All right, let's take one or two more before we move on. Mary Isaac from Mina uh, says, it depends on your definition of a good guy. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> uh, okay, Paul Oladeji from Ugbomo, so your message is not very clear. Uh, all right, let's move it along. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> okay, I think that just says it. But so that we don't send mm. across the wrong message, good girls stay good, good. but be wise, you good. know. Good. Uh huh. Uh, bad girls, we're That's... praying for you too because we know one day we'll change. <laughs> oh my change, God. No, so we we'll pray. And good boys, <laughs> good, good boys, guys. who yeah. will be patient and observant. And that, that's why I gave you. And listen to me. She, she said something. I good said guys good should. Good guys should be patient uh -huh. when they are searching okay. for their wife material. So they and good. they should be sensitive to the spirit of God guiding them. And uh, maybe involve, not even <clears> maybe, <throat> they should involve their spiritual parents. Okay. Who can design better. And guide them to and choose guide them accordingly. Right okay, you want to say something? I was going to say that sometimes when um, you're choosing a partner, mm -hmm. especially for the guys or for both sexes, when there are issues with the family, it's a signal that we should slow down. Mm -hmm. Probably there's something God wants you to see, mm -hmm. like a caution. So sometimes when you, like you said, Tim, you should seek guidance. Sometimes when you are being told that slow down, just slow down. Don't get angry and say why you not accepting and then. Yeah. You rush into good okay, mm. good like one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, our third and last topic for today is habits that kill romance in a marriage. Of course, we all know that the honeymoon stage in marriage doesn't last forever. Some marriages don't even have a honeymoon, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah, so, um, but you know, we would all just want the excitement to just be there. You know, that excitement of we just yeah. got married, we all lovey dovey, love but then. After a, a while, and these days, you know, that while is really short. Mm. <laughs> I try to be real. Really short. You know, that reality sets in. Life begins to happen and all of that. And before you know it, romance just goes out the window, you know. So what you're left with most of the times is just these two people who just coexist in the same space. Yes, you know, there is really no intimacy per se. No romance. Romance has no... So what are those things that we allow, those habits we indulge in, you know, that, that makes romance actually go out of a marriage? I think when you fail to see the novelty of your spouse, mm. they, when you begin to take them for granted. When taking you see your the spouse novelty, for granted, okay. Okay, it's just, uh, I know you, there's nothing new. Mm. Uh, I think, you know, couples should make deliberate attempts to always rediscover something new and exciting about their spouse because mm -hmm. that keeps the fire burning yeah okay. i also yeah, want I to say okay. that sorry mm -hmm. man mm -hmm. i also want to say that one of the major reasons why um the um the, the span with which romance live mm -hmm. exists in marriage is getting shorter by the day is financial pressures yeah it's a major factor that just both of you are just thinking of how to make mm -hmm. ends meet, meet yeah. Yeah. instead of looking inwards mm. and recreating you know yourself mm -hmm. you, most of the time we have to my husband and i we have to always struggle for a vacation or a retreat sometimes we may just be within nigeria mm. we we'll just leave home mm. because how we just it's see, an intentional mm. thing yes it yeah. must be it's intentional how mm. we just see are the things he's not doing it well she's not doing it well she's just work 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 i work from home and you know when you work from home, you know the tendency is for you to work 24 hours is mm. there. Yes. yes. And so sometimes I just see that his face is hard. He's just looking. Well, not available. Yeah. Yes. So I know that ah, I'm missing it already. There's something going wrong. And you know if we if you are not careful, my marriage will be 20 years in two weeks, 14th of August wow. precisely. 20 and years. We still behave. You know we yeah. still do like one boy and girl who just got married mm -hmm. because we chose to there had been times that i would look at him and just hate him mm -hmm. i'm like this guy but sometimes i have to remind myself that this guy is not all bad mm. 
and my husband will say, come, come, come. Yes, said to this one. We have fought again. Mm -hmm. Let's set to. So that, so we, that we can fight, fight again. Fight another one. Mm -hmm. so yeah. it's, it's, it's deliberate. So it's a deliberate thing. Deliberate. So yeah. communication. Mm -hmm. So financials too is very important. Yeah, okay. We have to learn to support one another. Mm -hmm. There have been times that the pressure of the financial of the finance of the family would be on me. And there will be times that it will just be on him. And especially when it comes to it being on women. Now women, we need to be careful. We don't, we can't take it for long because we feel that it's not our responsibility. And it is not. And it is not. So, so, so it gets to a point whereby you are looking at the guy that, what's he even doing? You should go and hustle. You should go and, and that is breeding hatred hmm. and disgust in Good you. Point. So there's nothing that guy hmm. will do. You won't appreciate it because what you want is go and bring money. Hmm. So you have to always be conscious. I do it. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like, oh, my money. And sometimes I, know that I notice that my husband is under pressure. He may not ask me. I'll just ask him, Wa, Baba, chicken, yeah, can I borrow you? <laughs> so, so let's see. Okay, uh, let's hear you, ma'am. Uh, from the financial angle, I will uh, say that a husband and a wife should uh, believe that whatever you have, I have yes. it. Exactly, so, I agree. So, when you maybe you are the one working and you have much money to put into the family uh, mm. uh, needs. Mm then uh, the man is not bringing in so much. He does love and understanding, you know. I believe there shouldn't be much pressure, mm -hmm. you know. There was a time, you know, my husband was not working. He had to leave his job, was starting a new one. I was the only one working. But with the understanding that whatever I have belongs to him, mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says what is mine is blind. Mm -hmm. So if what I have is his, then we should be able to spend it together. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, the tables can turn the other, uh, you know, in another few weeks, and it will be the richer. <coughs> yeah. Then, yes. Yeah, then we'll that way. spend yeah. it together. But I think when people feel it's my money, mm -hmm. it's your money. That's yeah. where the friction comes. Yeah. In. Okay. So there must be understanding. There must be love that whatever belongs to me belongs to you, mm. and we should, uh, you know, spend it together. Mm. But there must be. Um, Honesty. Mm -hmm. When a man is, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or a woman, and then I also when think, a one, or, yes, or, or, or a woman, woman is, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, women too can be. One of the yeah. reasons yeah. why some women they don't may want not to submit. open up their yeah. finances to their husband is that I don't want to. The fear of he will be spending the money I'm working for on another woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. That's so it might also be that he's not helping domestically. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I I always say that mm -hmm. if the wife, if if the table turns. Then you also have to. Good help point. Her at home. Good point. Mm. Because a man who, when he had, wasn't doing what he should be doing at home, when he doesn't have, no, it, it makes no difference to the woman, you know, because he, he never really did it. But if you, as a man, you've been doing what you, what should, you do, should do, when you don't have, I think a good wife yeah. would be understanding. Yes. 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 And then we digress. Yes. Mm. Okay? So what she's saying in a nutshell is couples should not allow the quest for financial wealth, yeah. deny mm. them romance, romance. Yes. in the family. That's, mm. a, that's a great valid point. Yeah. Maybe we should even break it down. What is romance <laughs> in a marriage? I'm saying, <laughs> because I people say... think it's only boyfriend and girlfriend. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you know, I, I, I what is say, romance? I want, mm -hmm. I want to say romance is the life of um, um, any union. Mm. It's the warmth, is the, is the excitement. excitement. Yes. The fire. Yeah, the fire, yeah. that tingling, yeah. tingling, tingling yeah. thing yeah. that is there. Keep it you know, alive. Let me give you an instance. My husband and I, like, I think about three weeks, uh, no, about two months ago, we were not this bonded. Uh -huh. So we traveled and we came back and it's been, and you know, he's, he, he told yes. me, he said, ah, ah. I know you bonded because you've been saying my husband and I, my husband you know, and I, my husband, you know all said, through this program you know today. Said, ah, you have not fought me oh, lately. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, you want it? Can I package it for you? And he said, no. <laughs> Let's keep it this way. All right, our time is fast running. Uh, quickly, I you want to say something, it. Charles, before we go? About romance? Yeah. yeah. Just like I said, just don't take your, your spouse for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, appreciate the little things. And you yeah. know, someone said something. It's really sad that it's only when people die that mm -hmm. we get to, you know, so begin to appreciate the things yeah. about them yeah. that previously offended us. Mm. So it's, it's just a mind shift. It's a mm. deliberate action. Mm. If you value someone, you, you, you want to build a life and a future with someone, take the deliberate steps to rediscover new things about mm. the person yeah. mm. that will keep you excited. So mm. There are other things that is taking away, it's killing romance, is the time. The time 
the GSM and the gadgets, whatever, oh, is, okay. a lot is taken out of Social time. media. I Social remember media. When, we yeah. got, when we got married, we didn't have TV. Mm. We couldn't afford to buy a TV. So we didn't yeah, have anything to for be looking other. at, that mm. we looking at, at one each another. Other. <laughs> so it was, but now there's TV, there's tap, there's, 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 there's everything. So, Distraction. So we have to right. deliberately. This is a big bad me quickly. Mm -hmm. Our time is almost up. Yeah. Uh, I believe on the part of the woman, she must make herself attractive. Mm. We're yes. talking of the bad girls. Some yes. of the things they do, they dress well, you know. Yeah. Where at night they wear their negligee and they, you know. <laughs> Yes, tell them. So they must be attractive. Make yourself attractive for mm. your husband. Exactly. And then uh, you know, say nice and sweet things, you know, mm. that will make him deliberately feel say sweetheart, you. darling. Mm. Uh, Sometimes you don't feel like uh, mm. but keep on saying, I love deliberately you. say it. I Look for you. an endearing name, you yeah. know, to yes. call your spouse. Yes. You know. And then one kiss a day. What? Let's yeah. try a hug and a kiss. Okay, a hug and a kiss a day. Yeah. Then you try it. that one yes. kiss a day. I think the men shouldn't be in a hurry to rush out of home. You know, I just what's yeah, that? Just what's me. that? Uh -uh. You know, like <laughs> Farabale and yeah, 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 yeah. arrange the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking now. <laughs> okay, it's been a very interesting show today. Oh, yes, We'd yes, like yes. to close with this one by Mary from Obomosha. People called me a bad girl, but now the glory of God, I'm enjoying my marriage. I love today's topic it makes me happy mm -hmm. we're happy for you today <laughs> thank you so much mrs funke <laughs>